Hey you guys, welcome back. Okay, I've been gone a while, so let's do a quick catch up. Uh, I got married, photo for proof, it finally did happen. I'm 30 now, so sitting on the floor to film is a little bit more painful now with uh, these three decade old knee ligaments. And of course, most importantly, Sven is still doing amazing. Such a handsome boy. Uh, more of a mustache than probably when you last saw him, but doing so good. We're all getting older here. I should also probably film an updated plant ketchup. I still have most of the plants that you would have seen before, but I've definitely made a few changes due to lifestyle. And by lifestyle change, I mean maybe my life being 30 and having my like 30 year old crisis didn't really work for Calatheas, but Hoyas are really working for me these days. <laughs> I've also got an obsession these days with trying to grow things on walls. Don't judge me for this. Remember, I'm 30 and I'm delicate, so I'm trying something new. I might regret it, but I just need to know. The aesthetics of it are too good. I can't resist. It looks so cool, so I have to do it. Don't drag me for it. But lots of plants going on the walls. So that is the quick and dirty wrap up of 2022 for me. So now for the real reason for why I am here. So Mother Life reached out to me. And I don't know if you guys watched my Ikea greenhouse update video about a year ago, but they had sent me these incredible grow lights, these plant spectrum grow lights. There's their little company logo. But these grow lights have been in incredible. They are so beautiful. They are such incredible quality. My plants love it and they have the perfect color spectrum. So I talked about that in the video. They're definitely more of a like luxury plant light, but this company is so worth it. They design their products to last a lifetime. So all of their materials are super high quality. They've got different replaceable parts. They've got great warranties. And my grow lights run every single day, all day long. And they have been for the last year. They're still doing amazing. I'm noticing no change in their color, in the amount of light that they're producing. They still look amazing, blend in to the home so nicely. And my plants, love it. The Hoyas, I've kind of rearranged the cabinets. Uh, one of them I turned into like a full Hoya cabinet and I swear something in there is always blooming. It is always blooming and it smells so good. Plus they're so forgiving. If I forget to water them. They still love me. So when mother reached out to me recently to talk about one of their other products, Forest, I was super, super excited to have an opportunity to work with them again. And this forest is so aesthetically pleasing and it has so many cool uses. I can't wait to dive into it with you guys. But I was so excited to work with Mother to showcase their forest product. So I'll show you guys a photo here from Mother's website, uh, how they have forest shown. I'll show you how I have mine currently set up at the end of the video, but I just wanted to talk about some of the parts of it and how cool it is. So I have one of the little pieces of it here with me. So you can see it's got four little notches for where you can actually put the plant pots. So that means it's really customizable. You can put the plants wherever you want uh, on whatever side. So if you have to shove it up in a corner or you only want it on two sides or whatever circumstance you might need, uh, you can put the pots wherever you want. You can also add more pods. So on their website, they've got a few different options for how many pods come with your actual forest unit, like the main tree trunk, <laughs> this part. And so you can also add more. You can make this as dense as you want. So you can either really keep it sparse, clean, you know, like what it depends on whatever look you're going for, but you can really fill this thing out if you want. And that is really cool because of some of the cool little things you can do with this. So each one of the plant pots sits on this little brass pearl. I'll show you a photo, it's really cute. Of course, once you have the plant on it, it's hidden, but uh, it means that whatever plant you sit on there, it's not gonna knock off. So you can come up and kind of whack this thing. Plants aren't just gonna fall off of this. They are secure. Plus the way that these pots are built, almost makes like a little re water reservoir at the bottom, if that's how you like to uh, deal with your plants. I personally still keep mine inside of their own pot, 
but uh, there's definitely some cool wicking things you could do with this. The whole device was pretty easy to install. I would say that you definitely need a buddy. So I totally needed Andre to help me sort this out, especially for the tall stuff. Like you build this right to the ceilings. So having somebody who can help you level it where you have like someone holding it at the bottom while the other person's twisting would totally be helpful. Uh, I think it would have been way more difficult to do on my own. The other nice thing is that you can hear that the materials that this is made of are so high quality. That's where Mother wins in every other grow light product that I've tried. Mother has these incredibly high quality builds. And like it says on their website, it's meant to last a lifetime. So I have full confidence that where this is right now, if I wanted to take it down and move it, or if we were moving homes or whatever, I could build, rebuild this thing over and over and over again and not have it lose any quality. So the other awesome thing about Mother is that they have put so much thought into their products. I love it and appreciate it so much. They even have full breakdown. So you can see when you get their box, uh, they have a little barcode scanner. They've also got the website link, but you can go using the QR code. And so I'll show you what this looks like. It actually shows step by step of how to build it out with all the pieces. And even better, not only does the box kind of show this, but so does each component. So every little piece that comes inside of this box has its own little scanner. So you can go to that specific items, how to install step by step. This was such a smart idea and it helped so much. And then it was awesome too, because the little pieces where I'm like, what the heck is this T connector? Um, it, like after I built the whole thing, I still had this, so I wasn't sure. And just looking at the instructions, I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, so here's the other really cool thing about this. While it comes with all these pots and every, like we've got a lot of grow lights on there. Um, I think that they always give you like three or whatever that don't have grow lights for the bottoms, but everything up the tier, all the pots have lights underneath so that you've got grow lights right above, you know? But on their website, you can actually buy a couple different neat things. One of them is plant collars. So I placed an order for that once they arrive and I get to try those out, I'll show you that. But I grow a lot of things hydroponically. It's just the fastest way to get a whole new plant. I can cut this plant back, stick all of it into a plant collar, and it'll be like a whole new plant instantly before it's even rooted. So I'm really, really excited to try those plant collars. And the second thing that I think is so cool, and I want to do this, I am so not a chef. So I just don't grow a lot of edible plants. It hasn't been my thing yet, but I am not like a big cooker either. But now that I'm 30, I'm kind of growing into it. Like I think it just took me three full decades to mature into cooking. Okay, three decades and buying an air fryer. Now, now I'm into cooking. So I'm excited about this idea, but it's substrateless. You don't need a substrate. You grow it right on the actual micropod. So there's no dirt, no perlite, no nothing. There's also no blackout germinations and you only water once per harvest. And these are fully reusable. I think it even said it was dishwasher safe online. So you just like scrub the microgreens out of this and pop in your next harvest. It honestly feels like magic. And these microgreens are full of nutrients. Uh, I think that they just from Mother Life's website, again, it was totally their website and like good for you guys. The website is amazing. They have tons of different microgreen options showing how long the harvest is, what the greens are good for. Uh, it's just, it got me so excited that I just had to toss an order in. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a try once it arrives. The plant collars too. I can do an update video on that. But in the meantime, I have it housing mostly Hoyas. So right now I've got it in my office. And if I start to like this microgreens idea, I might transition it down to the kitchen area. But I didn't put this in my living room because if you've seen my previous videos, I'm really, really very particular about light color. And this is 3,700 Kelvins. So it's more cool than the brightest white I would go. I cannot bring myself to go further than a 3000 Kelvin bulb in my living space. And even then in the evenings, I'm dimming that thing right down to almost nothing. I just like to live like 
in a dark, cozy space. Plant rooms are different, they're bright, and my office, of course, is brighter, but I knew that in the evenings, as I'm starting to dim all the lights, uh, I didn't know if that would quite suit the living room. So even though I had the perfect space for it in the living room, the light tone would not have worked with how dim I keep my lights. You guys, I'm not kidding about these knees. Ow, it hurts so bad. Oh, so old. Okay. Okay, they're straight. I'm not, I'm not gonna bend them again. So I think that that about covers what these forests are all about. I think they're so cool as people are adding more and more plants to their home. This is such a beautiful way to do it. It's the aesthetics for me. Okay, so I think that that about wraps it all up. I will show you my forest and how I have it currently built. Like I said, nobody at me down there for me trying to grow plants on the walls, okay? I want it so bad. And this one is new, so it looks a little sparse on the wall. It's my Cebu Blue but I have some cool inspiration thanks to uh, one of Hilton Carter's books. So I have, I have the idea, I know where it's going. Um, I guess you can let me be the tester. I'll let you guys know if this is a success or a failure. As long as it doesn't like root into my wall, I think it'll all be fine. Okay, to the forest. Okay, I'm filming on the zoomed out setting so you can actually see this because I can't back up that far to like get the whole thing in the shot. But here is seeing the entire thing in its spot, including my plant that I'm trying to grow on the wall. Like I said, don't, don't call me out, I'm trying something. Okay, so there you can see it's all by tension off of the ceiling. So the actual forest goes, oh, I took a plant out. That's my bad. I forgot I moved him earlier today, but actually this is a great way to show you what these pots look like. I'll show you it in a second, but the tension rod, so it goes all the way down to the ground, and you can like loop the actual power cord kind of back and forth, like you can track the cords through here. I think you can see. So that they're hidden and tucked away. And yeah, that's, it just keeps it really clean. So if this were even butted up tighter, like you'd barely even be able to see a cord coming off of this. I'm hoping that this just flowers up like crazy so that I have a really nice smelling office space. And in the background there, that's my Cebu Blue that I'm trying to grow up the wall. I saw in Hilton Carter, one of his books, uh, someone had done it and I just want mine to be really lush and full and it's grown a whole bunch in the last year so within a year it'll be nice but uh, it's looking a little sad and dingly right now but I'm not worried about it it'll be full and beautiful soon. Time flies with plants you feel like they are just little babies and then all of a sudden they're huge. So okay back to this forest so you can see that each pot has a light underneath of it. So this is that 37 uh, 3700 Kelvin. So it's just a little bit cool. It's not really cool. Like it's not like uh, your standard cool toned or like pink toned or like they're a true house tone. Um, in most people's homes, this would go full, it would blend in perfectly. It's just, if you were to see how dim I keep my lights, that that is where the problem lies. So here, is that little bronze pearl to keep the actual pots on. So you can see the pot has this little bump in the bottom, sits right on there, and then it's nice and sturdy. The plant is not going anywhere. Uh, because of that pearl, like I mentioned, that means that there's almost like a little reservoir down here. If you keep your plants in their own nursery pots, you could probably even work out some kind of like a DIY self-watering wicking system. So this is my favorite pot brand for nursery pots, the Elho pots. But this is the size, um, Elho in, I think an 11, yeah, 11 centimeter, 4.3 inch fits the best in here. I tried a five inch and it was just a little bit too big. Um, it's not the worst, I'll show you. Here's an example of what the five inch pot looks like in there. It sits out just a little bit, but depends on, uh, they're both matte black, so it's not, like wild or anything, how it looks. But all of these are sitting in here apart from uh, the Silver Hero up there in the little 4.3 inch pots and they look really nice. You can't like see that they're not planted directly in there. So my current setup is all Hoyas. Uh, reason being is that I just want to get as many Hoyas under the mother grow lights as possible. Uh, they just seem to really bloom super well. So 
I'm trying to get some more blooms in here for now. However, I could totally see myself eventually moving into that microgreens thing. Like, I i mean, you know, maybe that's like two 30-year-old of me. I don't know. I'm trying my best to try to be that, <laughs> that woman. But for now, it's housing all of my beautiful Hoyas and blocking my spindly Cebu Blue uh, until it actually is filled out and looks good. So a couple ways that I customized mine, I did put pots on all four sides. I did have the space in this little nook here. So I just, I like the looks of that. And I also tossed one of the light pods on the bottom so that I could actually grow some stuff underneath of it as well. My windows in here aren't super low on the wall. So having that extra light down here really helps some of these. It's also, I'm hoping, going to help the Cebu because the windows here and the angle for that is not amazing. So I'm hoping that the grow lights shining on the Cebu leaves will also help it get that little extra boost. I just want this whole thing to be totally full of Cebu blue, just growing up. I've even seen uh, somebody linked me on Reddit, Julian's video where he even grows plants like across the ceiling. I'm sure that the damage is not great, but at the same time, like, ugh, I just want it so bad. It would look so nice. That sounds like future me's something to worry about, you know? Okay, I think that that just about wraps it all up. So I will leave everything linked down below that we've talked about today. I've also got a link for Mother down below. It'll give you a bit of a discount off of a minimum purchase, which is not in Canadian dollars. So I don't remember the exact amount, but I will leave all of that information down below. Also in the comments, feel free if you have any questions about the forest or even the plant spectrum grow lights, any mother products that I'm familiar with, I'd be happy to answer those for you. Or just pop down and say, hi, I've missed you guys so much. Sorry for being away so long. I turned 30, had the crisis, joined four soccer teams. I don't know what I was thinking. That's probably also why my knees hurt so bad. I'm figuring it out. Ideally, I would love to be back here more often. So. Hopefully we can make that happen. I will definitely be back hopefully soon once that new box from Mother arrives with the order that I placed for the micropod and those plant cuffs. So I will follow up with you guys then. Thank you again so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye you guys. Mm -hmm.